Well, this is the convict quarters. This section of the coach housing building is widely known as the convict quarters or men's quarters. However, there's little documentary evidence to support exactly what it was used for. The design of the separate rooms does suggest that they were used as staff quarters with fireplaces and living space for beds. Like many of the spaces at Clarendon, the convict quarters invite us to, to use our imagination to fill the gaps in history. Place. There's some stairs up to the top level. There you go. That's pretty cool. Well, you know, they needed a workforce out here. They needed a place to live. Whether they were convict labour or paid labour. What better way to get rich with cheap labour, convict labour. What river is this one? Must be the, might be the North Esk River. Beautiful. So just walking around the convict quarters and we can see some of the other old buildings. And that's the main homestead there, Clarendon House. So this is the upper level. Oh, it's where all the, the old horse coaches buggies and stuff. That's pretty cool. Coach house. The coach house is an imposing three-story building constructed from convict bricks and tiles imported from the United Kingdom and produced by Morwood and Rogers. The design of large open arches ensured all the carriages could be seen and appreciated by visitors in a not so dis subtle display of wealth what's changed. There is also evidence of blacksmith's shop at the northern end of the building where maintenance and fabrication work of the carriages would have been carried out. Conspicuous consumption as Thorstein Veblen, Thorstein Veblen would say in his masterpiece work theory of the leisure class so conspicuous consumption that's what drives a lot of consumption so as people climb the social ladder in the, the new industrial age they want to show off their wealth their status their social status the increase in social status they they do that by the types of goods that they consume, the types of dwellings that they live in. Veblen wrote very eloquently on the subject in his book, The Theory of the Leisure Class. And he coined the term conspicuous consumption. All right, we're heading towards the beautiful garden of Clarendon House, this is the back part of the, the homestead. We've got a little sundial here. Look at that. A lovely little flower garden. Very, very nice. Very pretty. You can imagine the Wealthy landowners, family enjoy frolicking around the gardens, 
with their guests and the children playing in these grounds. The privileged class. Okay, well, let's go around to the front.